Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to look at Hebrews, the eighth chapter. Amen. And the sixth verse, it says, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, which was established upon better promises. For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, amen, in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continue not in my covenant. And I rewarded, I regarded my God, hallelujah, thank you, God, them not, saith the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel in the house in those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. And they should not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for all shall know me. From, from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins, and their iniquities shall I remember no more. In that he saith, a new covenant he maketh, hallelujah, glory be to God, a new covenant he hath made, the first old, now that which decayeth and waxeth old is ready to vanish, amen, away. Talking about a covenant, my God, a new covenant we have, amen, with the Lord Jesus Christ. A covenant is an agreement, amen, a covenant between, amen, glory be to God, man, and God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. As I was meditating and thinking about this, and I just heard the Spirit of the Lord say, hallelujah, every hallelujah person on this earth, every human on this earth, amen, is in a covenant with God. God entered a covenant relationship with all mankind through Adam, which, hallelujah, thank you, God, represented the entire human race. All humans, we are, hallelujah, glory be to God, in a covenant with God through Adam. Amen. All mankind, we cannot undo it. It is a creation covenant. Amen. It is a creation covenant. Hallelujah. And when God created Adam, hallelujah, and placed him in a garden of Eden, glory be to God, and he told him, do not eat from the fruit. And the day that he should eat from the fruit, he shall surely die. There was a covenant, hallelujah, relationship, amen, between God and man through Adam. And when Adam died, hallelujah, that broke that creed, hallelujah, that covenant between God and man, amen. It broke that covenant, hallelujah, and the wages of sin is death, according to Romans, amen, hallelujah, thank you, God, 623, for the wages of sin is death. And he told Adam, the day you eat, you should surely die. So that stigma, hallelujah, stayed with mankind. It stayed with the human race, hallelujah. Whether you want to be a believer or not, uh, whether you, hallelujah, give your soul to God or not, you're yet in a created, hallelujah, creation covenant with God. And the wages of sin is death, hallelujah. And if you don't repent of your sins, hallelujah, you will die in your sins, hallelujah. And in eternal damnation, will you lift up your eyes? Glory be to God, hallelujah. But it says here that Jesus, hallelujah, did not come to do away with the law, but he came to fulfill the law. Jesus came to fulfill the law, amen. Amen. The new covenant through the shedding and the blood of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, to wash away the sins of man by his mercy and by his grace. And we entered into, by way of repentance, hallelujah, a new covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah. A covenant is an agreement, my God, my God. So whether you give your life to Christ, hallelujah, by way of repentance, you're still in a covenant, hallelujah, under creation, hallelujah, unto God. <laughs> hallelujah, thank you, God. <clears throat> my God, my God, hallelujah, thank you, God. So, hallelujah, it behooves you, hallelujah, it's to your best interest, hallelujah, to repent 
and get in right standing with God so that you can fall up under the new covenant, hallelujah, which is his mercy and his grace, hallelujah, and his repentance, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. He said, come, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, I'll make them white as snow. God saying, hallelujah, my God, my God, you have a covenant with, with, with him, my God, my God, rather you fall up under the old covenant, hallelujah, by way of creation, hallelujah. There still is a requirement on man's soul, hallelujah. There's still a requirement upon you by the covenant and the da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-